Now in the last part of this question then, the 49 Newton force is now replaced uh, by a horizontal force. It now acts horizontally, so I put it in as a horizontal force of 49 Newtons. And it causes this particle, which was in equilibrium, to move up the plane, to accelerate up the plane. So what I'm going to do is now also mark in an acceleration arrow up the plane. We'll call that A, and it's accelerating at A meters per second per second. So what this means is that we've still got our same cross section as we've had before. Let's just mark in this dotted line up here. Okay, didn't turn out to be dotted. Let's just dot it, okay, like that. Okay, so we've got a dotted line there. And what we've got is that the force P can now be split into two components. We know that that angle 30 shows up here. So let's just mark that in as well, that 30 degrees is now that angle in there. So because the 49 Newtons does not act on this dotted line, okay, we need to split the 49 Newtons into two components, one up the plane and one into the plane. The component up the plane contains the angle, so that's going to be cosine, and the one into the plane doesn't contain the angle, so that's going to be the sine of 30. So what we'll do is we'll just mark those forces in here, one up the plane, which is going to be 49 cos 30 degrees, and that's in Newtons, and one's going to act in towards the plane. I've got that slight angle, but if you can see that it's meant to be straight into the plane, it will be 49 sine 30 degrees, and that will be in Newtons. So they're the forces acting on the particle. As I say, I wouldn't necessarily draw this, I would work off of this. This is only here just so that you can see what's happening. Okay, so we need to get this acceleration. So what I'm going to do is resolve up the plane. When I resolve up the plane, I'm going to look at the overall force acting up the plane is going to equal now the mass times the acceleration. You might know this as the formula F equals MA. We're going to look at the resultant force up the plane and it equals the mass times acceleration. So by resolving upwards, we're looking at all the forces that act upwards. So we've got the component of the 49 Newtons acting upwards. That's going to be 49 cos 30 degrees. That's this one here. So put that in, 49 cos 30 degrees. We've got the component of the weight that acts down the plane. That's this one here, and it's going to be 6g sine 30 degrees. So it opposes this direction, so it's minus 6g sine 30 degrees. The other two forces are, and the component of the weight and the component of the 49 newtons act perpendicular to the direction we're resolving in, so they have no effect in the motion up the plane. So this is the resultant force, and it equals the mass times the acceleration. The mass is 6 kilograms, so we just write 6 in, and we have our acceleration A, which is what we're trying to find. So all I've got to do now is just simply work out what this is, and if you do that on the calculator, what you get is 13.0352, and so on, and that equals 6 times the acceleration. Divide both sides now by 6, and what you get is 2.172 and so on. And round that to an appropriate degree of accuracy, let's say three significant figures, and what you have then is 2.17 units are going to be meters per second per second to three significant figures. Okay, well there we go. That brings us now to the end of this question.